off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay This is really putting myself out there not even wearing a brassiere, so you're not going to see below this line right here. But do you want to know a trick to keep your your kids away from you on a Saturday morning? And you can just have the whole basement to yourself, and you can clean, and you can um, not have any new messes made with breakfast. You clean. That That's how you keep the kids away from you. They're like, oh, I'm not going down there. Mom's going to make me do my chores. So we have officially cleaned and vacuumed that room, this room, and we are maintaining our shoes, except Kaylee hasn't quite figured it out yet. That is her second pair of shoes that she's left right there. So I'm going to advise her, she has a bucket. I might actually clear out my bucket. I think her and Abby each need two. So I think I need to move Chelsea's. No, Kaylee has two down there. Abby has one regardless need to remind Kaylee. Um, she just got home from a sleepover. Um, tidbit of information, that was her first sleepover ever. Well, aside from going out to Lopez Island with the same friend, we don't do sleepovers. But now that she's 18, she gets two. <laughs> Jason had a hard time with that one last night. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, he had a hard time with that. And I said, she's 18, she knows why. We are super uber cautious and do not allow sleepovers probably figure out the ultimate reason why but she's 18 so she got to choose but I am done down here I am gonna go shower shave my face give my face a little treatment um and I'm done cleaning the stove needs to be cleaned by Chelsea she did her counters last night so that they don't need to be done I have hand washed all the pans for Kaylee one because I dirtied two of them last night we have cleaned out water bottles. This is my fourth or fifth water bottle I cleaned out, including the straws. Here's one, two more. Yep, my two are on my desk. My flowers came back and then they wilted again, so they're done. Thank you for the laundry, Kaylee. I have helped Ashley sweep. She is going to do this main kitchen area and then she's gonna mop everywhere. I have helped her get behind the toilet. That always gets forgotten. And then I have cleared out my laundry room floor um, I got behind the door here. It was fully dusty. Um, I lifted up my mat. By the way, get these kitchen mats from Costco, the little squishy ones. Put it in your laundry room. When you're standing and folding laundry, fantastic. That is my second load of laundry. I have another one in and nothing in the dryer. So it's going to be a, a full day of laundry as well because that is only the first of probably three or four more batches to come down. Bathroom is somewhat clean, but Chelsea needs to come and gather garbage garbages from the whole house. And I think I'm going to open this up. There's a wonderful, wonderful breeze out here. I'm gonna let that breeze come in and give our house a little refresh. Jason and I last night um, sat out here, listened to books, watched our phone. It was super nice. I even had my little snack out here. Um, so that was, I just, we love this space, but I actually need to go and water my flowers over there. Get my little pot. Obviously needs to get cleaned. It hasn't been used in a while. These are my good shoes. Why are they out here? Move this up, kind of rinse it off. And yes, I just went on my porch without a bra on. It is what it is. Now we're gonna use this. I don't think I'm gonna use the hose out here when I do this. Although the hose is right there. I just don't want it mucking up the patio, I guess. Just give this a water before the sun beats down on it a ton. Let's see if we can get this to flourish. Should have thought about this. <laughs> Shoot. Looks like the dog peed on it. It looks like I'm going to have to get out the hose anyway. All right, I'm going to go wipe that up. I have one person doing chores. So I don't want to do it later. Yep. Um, she's moved all the chairs out. She's sweeping and mopping. And then I'm going to take that bag out for Chelsea to do garbages. But first I need to empty this guy out. 
with a house full of girls, we get a lot of hair and lint. And with the cotton cottonwood trees, we're finding a lot of cotton balls in here, huh? Is it all over the floor over there? Stuff yeah, and, and then it blows away. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna undo this so you guys don't have to see this all day. I'm going to shave my face, hop in the shower, take Abby to work, and then I'm actually going to dry and straighten my hair today, and I'll explain why I'm doing that in just a second. Face is shaved and defuzzed. Now for the shower. Showered took my time, so much so, that I have to take Abby to work in exactly, well, now. <laughs> so, I'm just going to brush my hair back, I'm trying to let it air dry so I can straighten it. Can't even explain that to you yet. Hang on. All right, I have dropped Abby off at work, I'm trying to get my hair, hair to like dry. I'm having all the windows down and some air on. So here's the deal, um, and I'm kind of like stalling because I'm trying to think if there's any errands I need to run before I head home. So I'm kind of just like trying to think here for a second. But I'm doing my hair today because we are having a girls night out instead of the couples game night. One of the guys is taking his sons camping tonight and tomorrow night. And so it just kind of makes it, they were just not gonna come as a couple. And so then she didn't want to come alone and that led to me thinking, then let's just do girls night and then the men were like well there's still men here let's do a men's night out so the men are going to one of their houses and they're gonna have burgers out on the grill play croquet and then maybe just chat watch movie whatever they want to do as girls we want to go out to eat we don't want to cook <laughs> so we're gonna head out of town out by my friend's house um, and go to Ixtapa I think it's Mexican I'm assuming it's Mexican um, and then we might just go back to our friend's house and hang out and talk, maybe play games, or we could come back to one of our houses. We could come back to our house if we want to. Um, just depends on what we're all in the mood for. Um, so I do want to have my hair done for that. Normally I wouldn't worry about it, um, but I'm timing it because I'm going to get my hair cut, you guys. I think I'm going to cut off quite a few inches. And then I'm gonna have her thin it. I think he might even go down to like my chin, cut off at the chin. Um, but I have not had my hair cut here in Washington State. Well, without having it mess up. I had it messed up during COVID. We won't go there. Um, because I couldn't get home to Utah to get my hair cut. And so I haven't had it technically done by anyone here in Washington State in probably a at least a decade if not more than that um and i it's expensive but i ran into a friend of mine who is back in town she moved to montana for a little while and then came back and she's a hairstylist i just have never had to use her before because she's so expensive she's really good at it and she works at expensive salons that take a high commission but I ran into her and I know I'm not going to Utah and so I asked her if she could do a haircut and a highlight and she doesn't do highlights, she only does coloring but her, like someone else in the salon does highlights. And so I, I'm just going to start with a haircut because it's, the haircut is what I normally pay with a tip to have my friend do it back in Utah. For the full foil highlight, full haircut, she washes it, dries it, straightens it, cuts it again thins it you see where I'm going so the price I'm paying just for the haircut is what I normally pay for the whole thing so I'm starting small <laughs> and the other person to do the highlight didn't have any, any availability right away so I will talk to her and try and schedule um, that appointment but as you can see I've got lots of dark um, and then lots of light <laughs> so I need to figure something out but I can't keep up with highlights here and so I don't know if I just color it um, more on the darker side but I've done dark so it's kind of why I want to talk to my friend but when it comes to getting my hair cut because usually I want the look of it when it's straight I want it to be even I want it to be kind of rounded out on the bottom edges I don't like a ton of layers and I've had the mistake of having someone cut it when it is like this 
whether it's wet or just dried, air dried, or take it down from a bun because you know you're not doing your hair that day. And then they try and cut it when it's wavy like this and it just doesn't work. And so I have to have it fully straightened, cleaned, ready to go by Tuesday. But normally I wash my hair and I straighten it for church on Sunday. That would mean by Tuesday my hair would be dirty. So I have to do it twice. So I thought if I have to do my hair twice, might as well have it done nice for today, for girls night, and for church tomorrow. And then Monday, either morning or Monday night, um, after I've worked out or whatever, I will rewash it, straighten it, and have it ready to go for my hair appointment on Tuesday morning. All this thing, all this that we do for a simple haircut, <laughs> I don't have any idea. I cut Jason's hair in like 20 minutes whenever he wants me to, but I have to do this, all this ruckus, um, just for a haircut. But, um, that being said, we are also planning and in charge of our church's Memorial Day picnic. Um, actually, well, we'll just chat. I'm not gonna get emotional. Memorial Day has a hard memory for me now. It is the anniversary of my mom's passing. I'm gonna pull over up here. I was in a handicap parking spot, so I didn't want to be in the way. So, um, my mom did pass away on Memorial Day exactly two years ago, um, because Memorial Day doesn't always fall on the same date. That date is not technically on Memorial Day this year. It is, what, two, three days later? Um, but because it happened on such a day where like, you know, it's a holiday, so you're with your friends, you're doing these activities, that date is in my mind as the anniversary. And so last year when we went to this picnic, I had such a horrible memory of that day from the previous year. And honestly, some bad experiences with people who weren't really taking me seriously when I told them my mom was sick and I kind of needed to go home. They just, one person in particular just wasn't, giving me the empathy and the sympathy and the kindness that I needed that day. And so looking back at it, it's hard to be around that again on the anniversary. And so, and just the memory of the holiday in general. Some people have that with Mother's Day. Some people have that with Christmas if they've lost loved ones. For me, it's Memorial Day. For some reason, it's a harder day to deal with um, because it's, I don't know. So, Jason was put in charge of it, which means I'm in charge of it. <laughs> it's just, I'm his assistant. And we spent all day yesterday running around. I will show you at home, getting buns, getting plates, getting sodas, and Ashley has all of her games that we're gonna play. Um, so we spent the day yesterday getting all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I don't think I have anything more to get today, but Monday morning, as we prep for that barbecue I need to hurry out and go get ice I need to go get um, I still am trying to round up people to bring coolers to put all the sodas in so I've determined I don't have any errands to run except as soon as I get home someone will think of something that we need and I'll have to come right back out but until then let's just go home. gas yeah that's what I forgot to do I mean I'm, I didn't forget I did come but I think everyone in town is here at Costco to get gas because it's like line out to the street. So that's fantastic. Right. I've been working on a computer. I had to like restart my Mac um, because it was like deactivating my Bluetooth settings. I couldn't access the keyboard or the mouse. And I know how to re like do that without having control of your mouse or your keyboard, but it wasn't working. So I had to shut down my whole computer. Um, do you know how bougie having a Tesla is? Very. You get to order custom sunshades that literally fit perfectly, tucked up in all the little corners with a perfect little slit um, for your sun visor or for your rear view mirror. Yeah, that's how, but, but to be fair, Jason didn't order the one that said Tesla on the front of it. <laughs> He's like, that one's a little too much. I don't. Clearly, the car is a Tesla. Um, but his sunshade just came in. And he might be pouting right now because I just begged him 
I was like, I'll pick up Abby from work and meet you at our friend's house to pick up one of the, the wives. Um, but can I steal your car from you? <laughs> and he's like, fine, on the car. And I was like, are you pouting? He hasn't responded to me, right? He hasn't responded. Abby, she has my phone, of course. Yeah. So, but because I'm driving he, he further, he's really yeah, he hasn't, <laughs> he hasn't responded. responded. He was so pouty, you guys. Um, go set. I'm just gonna put it here. He was so pouty yesterday. We weren't in an argument. We were just running all over errands. Everything was going smoothly. But right near the end of it, he was just grumpy, and I was like, "What is wrong?" And he, He's gonna get mad at me for telling you this. He was literally upset because the eagle had pooped all over his car and he hadn't cleaned it off yet. And because of the accident, fair enough, he was still upset about that, but his car was dirty. He was upset well, it's and probably, pouty. It's probably reasonable that he was mad about Yeah, but that's, scratch, but that, yeah. But then he probably was just oversensitive about the eagle. Like he probably, it just yeah. got to him probably. And so, cause he went out and he was meticulously cleaned his car and he rubbed it with like a, a special protectant spray. And after like an hour of him being outside, I went outside and I give you, I'm telling you, you guys, he was so grumpy when he went out there after we got home from running our errands. I went out after one hour of him working manual labor. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, and he was grinning and he was happy and he was listening to some tape, you know, like some book on his headphones. I was like, how you doing, hun? He's like, I'm happier now that my car is clean. I'm sorry for being so grumpy. And I was like, is that truly why you were so grumpy? And he's like, yeah, I really didn't like knowing my car was dirty. <laughs> Like, how would that be to like let like that dictate your day? And he was like, that was really immature of me. I'm but really sorry. But to be fair, that's you with the house. Okay, fair enough. Wow, look at that, Miss Therapist. I am grumpy if my house is dirty. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. I, I wasn't grumpy today. I just want the house yeah. clean, but I didn't take it out on anyone else. I do have a clean house now. Um, I do have some dirty dishes, but Abby is at work all day, so Kaylee cannot load. Um, but when we make creamies, Ashley, did you make the strawberry creamy? No. Did Kaylee? Who know. did that? You gotta clean up and like rinse stuff off, especially the Ninja creamy. Yesterday, should we show them the ones I made yesterday? All right, so I made a bunch of them. I made one or two, I made two chocolate ones. I made a strawberry cheesecake one, and then that's the other chocolate one. That's a leftover, a little chocolate one, and then this is a pineapple strawberry with cream in it. And both of the strawberry ones, well all of them, were made with a protein milk of some kind. So, those ones are all ready for us to have. Um, here. I don't think I'll have mine today, just because I'm gonna be out with friends. Can you? There it goes. But, um, you, where are you? I'm getting a haircut. You are getting a haircut. She wants bangs. I am, I am not going back to bangs. Actually, I don't want anyone, but sometimes I really want them, but now I don't. Yeah, we're just gonna cut off a couple inches, right? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Show the front. We did a little bit of a tapering, right? Yeah. You can't really see it now because you're being weird in public. So we tapered it right here in the front to give her a little bit more of a mature look. Why are you being weird right now? You were fine in there. And then we got it, gave it a good chop. Give it a little healthy, Yeah. right? Really but you still need to be able to pull it back for cheer. That's the biggest <laughs> thing. And no bangs. We did not end up with bangs. But we did kind of. No, you just got some layering to make yeah. it look less kiddish. Did my hair. Let me turn on the AC so I don't get hot. Did my hair. Ashley, what do you think about me cutting my hair off? Like, no. a lot. No. Now that I have it straightened. What? Oh, we just blew the breaker. Bummer. What do we have plugged in here that blew it?
You okay? You ready? You're hot, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go turn on the air. Let's go turn on the breaker. I don't know what blew up. Probably the microwave. <laughs> Had the microwave on at the same time. So let's go do it. Oh, did you just unplug that? Yeah. You just did? No. You didn't unplug that? No. Did you turn it off? No. For real? Yeah. Are you lying? No, yeah. <sighs> problem is none of them are tricked none of them are showing they are off so I don't know without turning them all off and on <laughs> what just happened why did the fridge just turn off goodness sakes and we have air I'm gonna stand in front of it for a second <laughs> feels so good it's not even that hot outside I just don't want to get hot in fact, now I can shut this window he's still working even though he's home Looking at how much money he's got. How to float the boat. How to float, mo float the boat. Okay, you're going to guys' night, correct? Yeah. So my favorite. Yeah. So I was telling these guys, the camera, our friends, about how you were crabby yesterday. Our, our friends, our friends, how you were crabby yesterday, and you just needed to clean your car. So I was saying that, and Ashley walked in. And she was like, he was crabby until he cleaned his car, right? And I was like, I get it. He just needed to have his car cleaned. He didn't like having it dirty. And she, little twit, wherever she is, she was like, oh, that sounds like familiar. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, that sounds like someone when her house is not clean. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> she was correct. Our kids have uptight parents. No. Because <laughs> I haven't been ornery this week and the house wasn't as clean as it is right now so we're gonna split ways i'm gonna go get abby and i'm gonna bring her home and then i will come over to where he is going for his guy's night to pick up that wife and then we will head out on our way so and this one has emerged yeah <laughs> did you even go to bed at all last night she had her first sleep well, well second sleepover Kind of, like but no. 30. Yeah. What were you doing? Uh, you know? Talking. Yeah. Well, my friend, had, uh, I can't talk about it on camera. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, she, um, has, I literally haven't, I mean, I've checked on her a bunch of times. Out. She's been out. So we're going to head out and I'll take you with me um, as much as I can, as much as everyone feels comfortable. Um, it should be a nice night. It is not that hot, but it is super sunny and nice. So we should be able to have a nice evening. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day. Hi. Ending the night. It's actually now tomorrow. It's 1220. <laughs> Just got home from our girls' night. We took a nice scenic drive out into the country and went and picked up, not picked up, met our other friend and her daughter um, at Extapa. We had Mexican food and had a great time talking and, um, and eating and just having a good time. And then we went back to my friend's house and played Skull King. And I lost miserably. <laughs> And we just talked and played with their dog and um, just had a good time and it takes a half hour, over a half hour. Well, it's taken me close to 45 minutes to get home and take the other two women home. I picked them up on my way here. Um, so um, it's quite a night, uh, but we had a good time. I'm curious to see how um, Jason's night was. He's already home. And, uh, hopefully he had too had a good night. Um, they had burgers and um, barbecue and kind of hung out. So hopefully he had a good time. And um, we're going to sign off with you guys tonight. And we will see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.